Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby blanket. Now, the stitch that I use to crochet this baby blanket is the 3D shell stitch. Now, you can use any hook size with any yarn to make this baby blanket, and you can make it smaller or bigger. At the end of the tutorial, I give you the finished measurements, so be sure to check that out. Also, down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some links to tutorials that I already have in my channel where I have made items using this stitch. I I will also leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching! To crochet this baby blanket, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an eye hook, and I'll be using this medium number four yarn. You can also use any yarn with any hook size. The important thing is that you make your chain in multiples of six plus one. Now, here I have my chain ready. I have 121 chains. If you want to make your blanket bigger, then go ahead and add more chains. The stitch that I'm going to make this uh, blanket with is the same stitch that I used to make this little cardigan. I also did a little dress. I have done many, many projects with this same stitch, and many of you have been asking me to make the matching baby blanket, so here it is. To begin, I have 121 chains. Like I said, the stitch multiple is six plus one for this stitch. To begin, into the second chain from the hook, one and two right here, into the second chain, make a single crochet. Now, skip one chain and into the next, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain one, skip two chains, one, two, and into the third chain, make a single crochet, chain one. Skip two chains and into the third, make a shell. chain one, skip two chains, and into the third chain, make a single crochet, chain one, skip two chains, and into the third, again, make a shell. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of this first row. The important thing here is that every time you make your shell, so these four double crochets here, you chain one, skip two, and into the third chain, make a single crochet, and then chain one, and then skip two, and into the third, make your shell. And that's all, that's what it looks like here. So continue like this, finish this first row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row, I finished making my last shell, I have one chain here, and here at the bottom I have three chains. Into the last chain right here at the end, make a single crochet. And this is how I finished the first row with a total of 20 shells. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now for each one of the shells, this is what we're going to do. We have four double crochets. We're going to make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Again, we have the second shell, same thing, two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this second row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. In this row, we did front post double crochets. Here at the end to finish, we're going to finish by making a double crochet on top of this last single crochet. And here's the second row. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. 
on top of this first double crochet here make a single crochet chain one inside each one of the shells where we have the chain one space we're going to make shells chain one in the middle of these two shells right in this space make a single crochet chain one and then again into the next shell make a shell chain one in the middle of these two shells make a single crochet chain one and into the chain space of the next shell make a shell and this is all we're going to do for the rest of this third row from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat the row of front post double crochets and the row of shells continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this third row i'm here at the end of this third row i have my last shell and then i have one chain here at the end to finish this row we're always going to make a single crochet into the second chain so right there and here's the third row now like I said from here on we're going to repeat these two rows so for row four I need to do the row of front post double crochets so chain three and turn here we have the first shell into the first two double crochets make a front post double crochet on each one chain one and then finish with two front post double crochets Again, we have the second shell, make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. And that's all we're going to do for the rest of this row. Now to finish this row here at the end on top of this last single crochet, you're going to make a double crochet. Then you're going to chain one turn and then repeat this row of shells. This is how we're going to continue for the rest of this baby blanket, just repeating these two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for my blanket, but continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I have done a total of 65 rows here for my blanket. I'm here at this corner. My last row here was row 65, and I did it on the right side. As it is, my blanket is measuring 32 inches by 32 inches. If you have not started your blanket and you want to make it bigger, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the multiple is 6 plus 1. So if you want to make your blanket bigger, then you need to add more chains. As it is, this blanket is not going to be too big. It's going to be... Um, um, a standard size I say but I'm going to make a wider uh, border so that the blanket itself is bigger so here to begin this is going to be the first row here of the border so here at the end I have my last single crochet where I finished row 65 so I'm going to now chain one and into this single crochet here I'm going to make a single crochet now one thing I forgot to mention before we continue make sure that when you do this border the same number of single crochets that you do here on this side you're going to have here on this other side and the same thing for the top and the bottom you don't necessarily have to have the same number of stitches all around for example if you have 30 on this side you're going to do 30 on this side and then 30 at the top and 30 at the bottom no the important thing is that you have for example 40 stitches here for the top 40 stitches for the bottom 50 stitches for the sides 50 stitches for this other side that's the important thing so you can easily apply this border to any baby blanket so here to begin this is the first row so into this first stitch here i did a chain one and then a single crochet and then i have this chain space and then again i have the single crochet into this chain space make two single crochets and into the single crochet here make one so two one two one and so on continue like this all the way to the bottom here i will meet you right here this is going to be the first corner to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this side. I have a total of 97 single crochets. Now, for each one of the corners, for me, this is the corner here. This is a chain here at the very end. So into this chain space here, I'm going to make four single crochets. One, two, three, 
four. Now we have these two chains, then one, two, one, two, one, and so on. So into these chain two space here, we're going to make two single crochets. Then into the chain here where we have the shell, make one single crochet. Then again, two single crochets, and then one, then two, and then one. This is how we're going to continue here along the bottom. So continue up to this end here. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the second corner. I finished making this single crochet for the bottom side. I have a total of 118 single crochets. So here is the next stitch here. This is a corner, so into this last stitch, I'm going to make four single crochets. That's two, three, and four. Now here for this side, I'm going to make the same number of single crochets that I did on the other side. So here we have this single crochet, make a single crochet. Then we have a double crochet here, make two single crochets. Then one, then two. Then one, and then two, and so on. This is how you're going to continue, two, one, two, one, until you come here to the third corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this side. I have 97 single crochets. Now we have this single crochet right on top here of the last row that I did, row 65. So into this single crochet right here, I'm going to make my four single crochets. So this is going to be the third corner. That's three and four. Now we're going to continue along the top and we're going to make one single crochet for each one of these four double crochets. And right in the middle between the shells here, we have a chain one space. So we're going to make a single crochet here and a single crochet here. On top of the single crochet, we're not going to do anything. So let me show you. Here we have these four double crochets. So make one single crochet on each one. That's two, three, Four. Now we have the chain one space, make a single crochet. Skip the single crochet right here and into the next chain one space, make a single crochet. Again, we have the next shell, make one single crochet on top of each one of these double crochet. That's three, four, and then again, we have the next chain one space, make a single crochet, skip the single crochet, and into the next chain one space, make a single crochet. This is how we're going to continue here all the way to the end of this first row. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along the top. Here I have a total of 118 single crochets. Now, here is my last stitch. This here is going to be the fourth corner. So into this stitch here, I'm going to make my four single crochets. That's two, three, four. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row. Now, just to review, we have a total of 118 single crochets for the top and bottom. And for the sides, we have 97 single crochets. And on each corner, we have four single crochets. Now for the second row here, we're going to chain two and into this same stitch here where we joined, make a double crochet. Here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make one double crochet for each single crochet. So I'm going to have the same number of double crochets as I did for single crochets. So for this side here, I had 97. So I'm going to have 97 double crochets for this side. So continue, I will meet you here. This is the first corner. I'll show you what we need to do next. I finished making these double crochets along the side. I have 97 double crochets. Now I have the first corner, I have four single crochets. This is what we're going to do for each one of the corners. Into the first single crochet, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Into the second and third single crochet, make four. That's four, 
and into the next same thing four double crochets that's two three four now into the fourth single crochet make three and this is what you're going to do for each one of the corners now make sure that you have 14 double crochets like i said you're going to do three double crochets into the first single crochet four double crochets into the second and third single crochet and into the fourth three double crochet so there's 14 double crochets here for this corner now you're going to continue along and make one double crochet for each one of these single crochets until you come to the next corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing as i showed you i'm not going to show you that part because it's exactly in the same way you're just going to repeat the same thing i did here three four four three double crochets on each one of these four continue like this i will meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did double crochets all around now i have a total of 486 double crochets all around not including the two chains here at the beginning now on each one of the corners there should be 14 double crochets now to finish this row what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here on top of the first double crochet and here i'm going to change color i'm going to use this pink yarn if you're not changing color then all you need to do is with the white yarn just make a slip stitch and chain one but since i'm changing color here i'm going to undo that slip stitch and i'm going to insert my hook back again on top of the first double crochet and i'm going to grab a loop with both colors here like this and i'm going to make my slip stitch now leave the white yarn there because in the next row we're going to continue with the white yarn so now for this third row with the pink yarn i'm going to chain one now in this third row all we're going to do is work front post and back post double crochet so beginning here we have the first double crochet make a front post double crochet into the next make a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on this is all i'm going to do all around when you come to the corners you're just going to continue in the same way you're going to make front post and back post double crochet so nothing uh, is going to be different here in the corners each stitch is going to be worked in the same sequence front post and back post double crochets that's how you're going to continue all around for the third row so continue i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row this is where we did front post and back post double crochets my last stitch here is a back post double crochet now to finish here i'm going to go on top of the first double crochet and i'm going to join with both colors here i'm going to grab a loop with a slip stitch now i'm going to stop using the pink yarn and with the white yarn i'm going to continue here so chain one and here we're going to do exactly the same thing we did in the first row we're going to work these front post and back post double crochets all around this is all we're going to do from here on so let me show you what you're going to do so at the end of every row from here on you're just going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch then chain one and then do exactly the same thing a front post double crochet then a back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet from here on i'm going to continue with the white yarn here i'm only going to do the third row with the pink yarn so this is all i'm going to do you can also alternate colors do one row in one color and then the next in another color that would be up to you i'm only going to do the third row in pink and then continue for the rest with white so this is all i'm going to do all around 
when I finish this row, I'm just going to go on top of the first stitch here. This is the front post double crochet, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. I'm going to continue with a white yarn like I said, so there's no need to join uh, with the pink yarn. I'm going to cut my yarn actually here. So that's all we're going to do. So continue like this. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making my border. I'm going to make one more row, but for now, I have done a total of seven rows, including the row of single crochet. So we have the row of single crochet, that's one. Then we did the row of double crochets, and then we did the front post and back post double crochet row. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more row here, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this over. This is the wrong side. So here, what we're going to do is here's where we finished right here this is the double crochet where we joined with a slip stitch so right into this first space right next to it insert your hook grab a loop here i'm going to use this pink yarn and i'm going to be using a slightly smaller hook i'm going to use this 4.5 millimeter hook and i'm going to chain three now skip two spaces one two and into the third space not the stitches here on top but between the two stitches here right in this space here make a single crochet three chain single crochet again three chains skip two spaces one two and into the third space make a single crochet three chains single crochet again three chains skip one two and into the third space here make a single crochet three chains single crochet this is all i'm going to do all around this is what it looks like on the right side so continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this last row and then show you the finished baby blanket okay i'm here at the end here at the end all i did was into this last space i did a single crochet three chains single crochet and then i just joined to the first chain that we did here with a slip stitch and then cut my yarn past my yarn through that last loop and my baby blanket with border is all done this is the right side here's the wrong side that's what it looks like from the wrong side it's beautiful as well and here's the finished baby blanket now i already went ahead and did one of the corners this is what i did look how beautiful this looks and it's so simple i just did a little bow here with another little bow here in the back with a thinner ribbon and then a little flower right in the center these flowers i always get get asked i purchased them from joann's now my baby blanket is done with the border look how beautiful this stitch is i absolutely love love this stitch i have lots and lots of tutorials already with this stitch so i'll go ahead and leave those links down here in the information box if you want to complete your set i will also be doing a little sweater with this uh stitch to match the little blanket so stay tuned for that so these are the corners that's what it looks like here's the other one i absolutely love this border it's so simple and very easy to make okay so let me give you the finished measurement now the finished measurement of my baby blanket is 35 inches by 35 or 89 centimeters by 89 centimeters if you want to make your blanket bigger then the stitch multiple is six plus one all you have to do is just add more chains to the chain that i showed you at the beginning i had 121 chains so you could add more that would be up to you and you just do it exactly in the same way Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.